Ever want to overhaul your bedroom design aesthetic? Me too. Here's my roundup of practical and affordable bedroom decorating ideas and simple choices that make the big difference in even the smallest makeover. This homemaking stuff really wears a girl out. Back and my curls. I started the day with plenty of curls, not ending that way. That's okay. Such is life. Ever since I was a wee tween and found a mini room makeover idea booklet stapled into one of my magazines, I crave the ever so often furniture rearrangement and repurposing of decorations. Relatable? Regardless of the decorating scheme or frequency of refreshes, we all deserve a bedroom that lures us in like a siren's call. Relaxing hues, inviting bedding, and carefully curated bedroom accessories are just some of the elements needed to craft a relaxing yet stylish sanctuary. Getting started. If you can't figure out exactly where to begin with your makeover, start with clearing the clutter. Even better, clean the slate by removing everything but the heavy furniture and then, well, clean. Mood boards, Pinterest, and other inspo, oh my. By now, surely you've curated a mood board, a Pinterest board, or kept outdated magazine clippings that have inspired you. It's time to take another look-see and determine what you're still drawn to and what has seen its day. Whether you just moved into a new home or you desire a few cosmetic upgrades, what are some descriptors you want your room to carry? Some that come to mind for me? Warm, cozy, airy, a touch of luxury? What are some sensory experiences you enjoy from the moment you wake in the morning till night when your head hits the pillow? I love that during the day my room is bright and energizing with all of the natural light. I craved that big change from the blackout curtains we hung in our first home, and as a result I ordered custom roller shades for a modern, sleek look when they are down and virtually no shade when they are up. We also have a light filtering in between option when the lined pattern is adjusted to be offset. At night when the shades are rolled down, I enjoy the moodiness of turning on only the tray ceiling lights. By the way, you can make your own tray ceiling lights using rope lighting. Having a fluffy duvet insert provides an enveloping feeling and checks off the warm and cozy vibes. Further, it's an economical choice to seasonally switch top cover thicknesses. And swapping out sheet sets can make a turned down bed seem taken up a notch. I was really looking forward to this transformation because I wanted to find a way to sort of marry the colors that I already had and the ones I was adding to the room. Now, I really love blush. Mm. Now, this is a neutral enough color that I felt like I could tie in the existing orange on our bedspread. This bedspread that we've had for 10 years actually got washed on the sanitized setting and let's just say it didn't like that. So the orange retained its color pretty well, but the white became sort of a peach color and that has bothered me ever since. I lived with it for a good while and this is actually the underside of the duvet cover that we've been utilizing. So then I was thinking, if I was going to keep my prior bedding for a time, I would want to find something that co coordinates with it, but I knew that not a lot coordinates with orange and peach. Enter the blush. Also, I felt like we could kind of marry the colors better if I got sheets that had a peachy orange hue to them. So these are white sheets with kind of a coral flower and a tan colored leaf. So what do you think? Did that help tie it together? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Anyway, should I get rid of the tangerine colored pillows back here? I don't know. Makes me wonder. I might have to sleep on it. Various textured throw blankets are very huga and easily change the look and feel of the location in which they are draped. 
Here you can see I'm attempting to mask the chevron pattern on this armless chair because it has great bones, but the fabric is outdated. By the way, I have an idea for a simple upholstery overhaul I want to show you in a DIY video. Along those lines, don't be afraid to try something unconventional with fabrics. I tested the look of my faux furry blanket wrapped around an oversized Z Gallery poof that's had its fair share of Cambridge children jumping from it. The cover is kaput, but the poof cushion gets its new life with a new cover in a matter of seconds. Note this does not make it jump proof. Promote a good night's rest. It goes without saying that priority one should be determining ways you can promote a good night's sleep. So be sure to consider this throughout the layering process and be ready to add and take away things as necessary over the coming weeks or months. We are ever-changing beings, so our environment should be adapted to our current needs. The right amount of storage. We chose this complete furniture set 11 years ago. And while our design aesthetic and room has changed, literally, I believe the furniture still suits us. Aside from the obvious storage in the tall chest of drawers and the long dresser, the platform bed and nightstands were designed with form and function in mind. I love the peekaboo open shelf in the nightstands to display my current reads or coffee table books on rotation. And with this platform bed design, we aren't completely compromising under the bed storage because my side is constructed with pull-out drawers. How can you create zones based on the functions of the room? I have a landing strip in front of my nightstand where I can grab a mat and do a brief yoga sesh before bed or after my morning rising. I built this IKEA desk so finally I could have a vanity to relax at while applying my makeup. I set it up in front of the windows for natural morning light and next to this full-length mirror jewelry armoire. In another video, I'll show you some creative DIYs and organizing projects you can do in less than a weekend. Here's a couple videos to get your creative juices flowing. And there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, take care of that.